Good morning. My name is Doron Youngwoods. I'm the marketing manager for the Digital Intelligence Division at Amdocs. For those of you who may not be aware, Amdocs is a global software and services provider targeting the telecommunication and media companies. Now, telecom and media is really under a lot of pressure at the moment from digital service providers, companies like WhatsApp and Viva, Google, Netflix, and many, many others, who are a real competitive threat to these, these industries. In addition, telecom and media companies are under pressure to improve, in fact, transform customer service and customer experience. In this digital era, customers have very, very high expectations. They don't want to wait five minutes on the phone to get through to a, a call center representative. They want to engage and communicate with their telecom provider at their own leisure, at their own time, and across any channel, not just the phone. And it's based on this that we partnered with IBM Watson to develop a new customer experience solution. Now, chatbots have been around for a number of years. I'm sure we've all used chatbots. But many of the chatbots today are fairly simplistic. They're quite basic. Well, what I would call question and answer type um, chatbots. So you're engaging with a, with a chatbot, you're communicating with a chatbot, and you're able to ask it fairly simple questions, and you'll get a fairly simple answer back. And that's about it. It's very restrictive capabilities. What we're doing with IBM Watson is really taking that to the next level. By leveraging the capabilities of artificial intelligence, of natural language processing, and some additional features, we're really helping to transform uh, service providers' customer experience. And over the next two or three minutes, I'm going to show you some examples of what we're doing. I'm sure everyone's aware that last year, Facebook opened up its messenger platform to external chatbots. And within six months, they had 30,000 chatbots. That's quite impressive. So we're going to use Facebook as a channel to communicate with NXT. NXT is a made-up telecommunication company for the sake of this demo. And as the customer, I'm going to start communicating with, with a chatbot. And I'm going to take a few different examples, a few different scenarios. So let's kick off. Hopefully, everyone can see this. I'll, I will read it out. OK. going to verify my details, starting with my mobile phone number. It's asking me for my mobile number, which I'm adding. And the next thing it's going to do is ask me, hopefully ask me, for the last Provide the details. Uh, OK, when am I traveling to Tel Aviv? Good point. I forgot to mention that. My intent that I'm traveling to another country into an action, into an outcome. I haven't actually asked for a roaming package, but as you hopefully can see there, it's offering me a new international roaming package. And as I scroll down, a voice, text, and data package. So I'm going to select this one. Within a few seconds later, right, done, confirmed. I haven't had to wait on the phone five minutes to speak to an agent. It's seamless. It's easy. OK, so that's one example. Let's move on to another scenario. And I'm writing. I haven't asked for anything. And it instantly knows, because it, the, it's supported with CRM in the back end, so it's connected to my, my account. It knows my account. And it knows how many people in my household. It knows that I have two made-up children called Ruth and Ray. So it's asking me...
thousands of shekels because someone has stolen my child's phone and is using it to make calls across many countries. So it instantly recognizes that I've lost a phone and it's offering to suspend the account. And now I can, of course, reactivate the account at any time I wish, but I'm going to say suspend. Now, one more thing to add. So it suspended my account. If I just scroll up quickly, here we go. Your wireless service is now suspended. Please inform us, and we will reconnect you. One other thing it does. Remember I talked about converting intent, customer intent, into an action. I have lost my phone or lost my child's phone. What does it do? It offers me another phone. Not just any phone, but it's got all this historical information about who we are and what phones that we have purchased in the past. So it's offering me a phone that's relevant to me, that's personalized to me and, and my children. So one is an HTC, the next is a Samsung Galaxy, and the third is an iPhone. So let's click on the phone. We're really moving away from just customer care to commerce. This is a virtual sales rep. Please confirm your order. I can look at the details. I've confirmed. And now it's asking me, how do I want to receive the phone? Should it deliver it to my office, to another location, or home delivery? And I'm selecting home delivery. And that's it. And two more things to add before I wrap up. One other thing that I haven't had a chance to demonstrate is the importance of sentiment analysis. With IBM Watson, we can detect the mood of our customers based on the message they write, based on the tone of the message, based on uh, voice. If they're at home and they're using Amazon Echo or Google Home and they're using voice, we can detect if someone is angry or frustrated or sad or happy. And based on their mood, we can then personalize the next offer. Of course, if someone's angry, there's a higher risk that they're going to move to another competitor. Of course, we don't want that. So we can see if someone's angry and perhaps offer them a 50% discount instead of, say, a 20% discount. That's another example of the power of sentiment analysis to really get close to our customers and understand who they are and what their challenges are. And one final thing before I end is seamless handoff to an agent. Now, there are always times where a chatbot uh, won't be able to answer the question, won't be able to resolve the customer issue. So ensuring that the chatbot can hand off and route the conversations to a live call center agent is really important, really key. But not just that, ensuring that the agent can continue the conversation. I'm sure we've all been in the situation where we're on the phone uh, to our service providers and we're being routed from one agent to another and we have to start again. We have to start explaining our issue again, which is very frustrating. With this, the chatbot is seamless. It's recorded. The conversation is recorded, so by the time it hits the call center agent, the agent can continue where they left off. And with that, I'd like to thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of the event.